দর্শক আমন্ত্রণ আন্তর্জাতিক সম্পর্ক উন্নয়ন বিষয়ক আর টিভির বিশেষ অনুষ্ঠান ডিপ্লোম্যাটিক জোনে আপনাদের সঙ্গে আছে আমি সৈয়দ আশিক রহমান আমাদের আজকের অতিথি বাংলাদেশে নিযুক্ত স্পেনের রাষ্ট্রদূত হিজ এক্সিলেন্সি লুইস তেজাদা ওয়েলকাম এক্সিলেন্সি অ্যাট আর টিভি স্টুডিও ইউ আর সার্ভিং ইন বাংলাদেশ লাস্ট থ্রি ইয়ার্স হোয়াট ইজ ইউর এক্সপিরিয়েন্স ইফ ইউ শেয়ার উইথ আওয়ার ভিউয়ার্স Well, first of all, thank you very much to RTV for having, me, having invited me to this program and uh, I have the pleasure to address myself to the, to the Bangladeshi public. Uh, as you say, I have been here already three years, so I know the, the country a little bit. I would say that the thing that has impressed me more uh, from the Bangladeshi people is their capacity to work hard, their entrepreneurial capacity, the fact that they are able to set up so many businesses a country that was so poor 30 years ago now is one of the main exporters of the world in garments, the second one. Uh, you will never hear a complaint for a Bangladeshi person about uh, work. This impressed me a lot. Another thing that I admire is uh, how well they receive foreigners, how kind they are to, to foreign people, to expatriates. Uh, how, feel you, how well you feel at home uh, here in Bangladesh. You feel really at home here with, with the Bangladeshi people. And in this sense, I think they have a certain similarity with the Spanish people. Also, the Spanish people are very open. Also, they like foreigners. And so I don't feel, you know, very much away from my house when I live in Bangladesh. Thank you. Thank you. That's very warm. Uh, well, Excellency, our young generation, they like very much Spanish football. Yes. And uh, what is your feeling about regarding this? Well, as you know well, and happily, our national team has just lost uh, in the World Championship and we are now out of the, of the World Cup. Uh, but in general, you know, Spain the, is good at, at the sports, not only football. Now you have Nadal is playing Wimbledon, he ja has just won yes, so uh, Wimbledon, yeah. Roland Garros, and we have also Alonso in Formula One. Uh, we have a good basketball team also. I mean, we, we like sports very much. And I think that it will be very good to create partnerships between uh, Bangladeshi teams and Spanish teams. For example, one team of my city, Madrid, the, the team is called Atletico Madrid, as sure many Bangladeshi know this, this team. Uh, they have created, a, would say, a, a team now in Kolkata. They are going to play the Indian League. It's called Atletico Kolkata. Great. I think it would be a very good idea if some Spanish teams come here. Come or here, yes, Bangladesh. There, establish partnerships and they give a stimulus, a boom, to the football uh, league. I have the impression that if not, uh, cricket is going to win to the football. Football, uh, exactly. As, as a, as in it's, it's a great idea. The it's a great idea. And of course, we don't play cricket in Spain. We are not good at cricket. <laughs> so I prefer, I would prefer to have more, 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 uh, football. more importance to football. Football. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. It's a great idea, yeah. actually, if they come to Bangladesh to stimulate our uh, yeah. people, our sports, yeah. uh, our actually football fans. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for this idea, actually. Uh, well, Bangladesh and Spain enjoying excellent bilateral relations. Yes. How do you, do you anticipate these relations? Are developing further in coming days? I'm very optimistic, you know. Uh, we opened our embassy here in Dhaka only uh, five years ago. So we are a newcomer in, in Bangladesh. And up to now, most of the Spanish companies in Spain was very, very much focused to Latin America because they speak our language, we have a common past. But now we are discovering Asia. And uh, we are seeing how many opportunities we can, we can have in these countries. For example, in Bangladesh, uh, we are buying a lot of garments, as anybody else, you know. We have our big companies who are here in, in Bangladesh. Inditex is very well known, Zara shops. But also, like El Corte Inglés or Mango, they are, they are buying here and working here. And this is going to grow, because Bangladesh will, will, the exports of Bangladesh in garments will grow continuously during at least 20 years. The second area in which we are very much specializing uh, is uh, in uh, the construction of power plants. We have very, very huge infrastructure companies in Spain, and we have started by power plants. In power plant, plant. Power plants. Up to now, you know, Spanish companies are building power plants for about 1,500 megawatts. Uh, we are building plants in Ashungan, 
In Shidirgan, we have bo uh, built a plant in Kulna. We have big companies like Isolux, like uh, TSK, like Technicas Unidas. We are bidding, and we are beating sometimes the Chinese, sometimes the Koreans, sometimes the Vitas, of course, uh, in the na international tendering. And I suppose that uh, if there are opportunities in the, in the highways or in the train, we'll go for this kind of infrastructure also. Second and third, I think that uh, Bangladesh should come more frequently to Spain, because Spain is a country that uh, has a lot of tourism. 60 million people come to Spain every year. Every to, year? To enjoy 60 million? 60 million. I mean, we have a population Great. of 44 million. Nothing. So you, we have more tourists during the year than the Spanish people, because we are 44 and 60 million come every year to Spain. Uh, to enjoy the beaches, uh, to enjoy our cities, the good weather, the sun, people from Russia, people from, from North parts of Europe, from South America, and also from some from India and Bangladesh, some also, no? I think that in the future more will come, no? And as long as I know uh, that uh, that tourism is not very costly as uh, like uh, Euro, uh, uh, European other cities. I think that the relation between quality and, and price is very good in Spain, because of course you could find cheaper places, but not as safe as Spain and not with the same quality of services. Great, mm -hmm. great. Well, what do you think in Bangladesh, what is our major achievements? It's the great success of Bangladesh is achieving a high growth, 6.5, 6, sometimes 7, during 25 years without interruption. Um, and I think that uh, Bangladesh owes this to its, itself mainly. I mean, there's no, no uh, merit outside of Bangladesh. Uh, the people of Bangladesh have developed a, you know, very rich and powerful agriculture, a good industry. And I would, I would underline this of Bangladesh, the capacity to build up the country uh, or by their own effort. Bangladesh is, you know, like to compete with foreigners. Very often they beat foreigners in the competition and they are very ready to receive foreigners. Thank so, you, thank you for your nice compliments. Well, you are talking about our Bangladeshi, uh, some development issues. Yeah. Uh, what are Spanish development priorities uh, in Bangladesh? One way of helping the country is investing in the country and bringing companies here. It's not just a question of giving aid, it's a question of having faith in the future of the, of the economy of the country. But we are doing many other things in Bangladesh. For example, we are doing some development aid uh, our main focus is the condition of women in Bangladesh. Bangladesh uh, has to improve in the, in the future. How we may uh, diversify our trade and investment cooperation? Well, you know, for us, uh, I'm going to, to say something about trade now, you know, that is very closely related to investment. If you see the trade balance between Spain and Bangladesh, you know, uh, Bangladesh exports 20 times more to Spain than Spain to Bangladesh. So the relation is 20 to 1. You are exporting 1.2 billion dollars per year, and uh, we are exporting to you 70 million dollars. So 1.0 billion, 70 million. Uh, that, that, that means also, of course, that you are very able uh, exporting, that you have a very powerful... Most of it maybe in RMG. RMG, mainly, yes. mainly garment. And may, most of it is, uh, you know, sales to very uh, Spanish multinationals that can grow uh, bigger because they buy in Bangladesh. I mean, it's not that it's a bad business for us, it's a good business for us, no? Um, well, having said this, um, one of the things we find is that Bangladesh uh, has perhaps excessively high tariffs for importing products. This is normal because you are developing your industry and you have to give priority to the local industry. And this is normal at your stage of development. But if you exaggerate, the main problem of this is that it's very difficult to diversify your industry if you don't have more facilities for import. Uh, there's not a single country in the world that with a very close economy has developed a very diversified exporting industry. And I think that uh, for Bangladesh, now the challenge is really to, to export more things. You cannot depend only on RMG or garments. You must go to also to pharmaceuticals, to shipping. Uh, you must go to light industry. You must, you must be a, you have the capacities to be a, a superpower in exports in the world. Well, uh, recently Bangladesh and Spain agreed to evidence of double taxation. Yes. And cultural cooperations. Yeah. And uh, we think uh, here we can go for better opportunities to get our trade both yeah. way. Yeah. Well, yes, as you say, the, an agreement on, on double taxation that we have 
just recently proposed to the Bangladeshi government, I think it's going to help a lot the investment of Spanish companies in Bangladesh. And we have still already some of, of investors here, and they have told us that it would be very convenient for them. This is one point. And you have mentioned another, another issue that is very important for, for, for us, for my country, for my embassy, is the issue of the, the cultural cooperation. You know, um, Spain has a very long Muslim past. Spain was a Muslim country uh, for 800 years. I would say that it has been uh, as many years Muslim as Christian. Uh, we have a lot of uh, architecture, uh, Muslim architecture in Spain still. You know, we have the, one of the oldest mosques of the world is the Mosque of Cordoue of the uh, 800th century. Is the Mosque of the Omeyyads, a huge, beautiful mosque. We have the um, Arab Palace of Granada. Uh, we have still many, many cities in the south of Spain that have huge and beautiful uh, Muslim monuments. We bring here to Bangladesh every year, to Dhaka, a flamenco group, uh, so they give some concerts. We also like to do a gastronomic... Uh, that would be a great opportunity to uh, closely watch. Yeah, so so, so yes. the, the Bangladesh, perhaps your television could come and, 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 and take uh, some, some, I mean, uh, part of this, of this program because people would see that that music is very interesting and, and they will understand immediately because, you know, Bangladesh people are pe a people who uh, love music. I think also that uh, something that we are doing here in Bangladesh and we could do more in the future is the, the teaching of the Spanish language. Great. There is a chair that has been created by this Spanish company, huge Spanish company, it's called Inditex, they are a garments company, and they are promoting with two Spanish universities uh, an institute of Spanish language in the University of Dhaka. Great. And they have more than 300 pupils there. They are also teaching some of the staff of the Minister of Foreign Affairs. And my view is that in the future this has to grow. The most, more, more Bangladeshis should learn Spanish, and more Spanish should learn also uh, Bangladeshi, uh, because in the end, you know, Spanish is a language that is spoken in many countries. It's the second language in, in, in North America, great. for example. That's a great news. We we'll hope so. Your Excellency, we'll talk about other issues after a short break. Okay. Thank you very much. Darshan, Dekchen, Antojatik Shampur Kunnan Vishak, RTV Visheshanustan, Diplomatic Journal. এই পর্যায়ে নিচ্ছি বিরতি ফির ঠিক একটু পরেই সে পর্যন্ত আমাদের সাথে থাকুন দর্শক আবার আমন্ত্রণ আন্তর্জাতিক সম্পর্ক উন্নয়ন বিষয়ক আর টিভি বিশেষ অনুষ্ঠান ডিপ্লোম্যাটিক জোনে কথা বলছিলাম বাংলাদেশে নিযুক্ত স্পেনের রাষ্ট্রদূত হিজ এক্সেলেন্সি লুইস তেজাদার সঙ্গে ওয়েলকাম ইয়োর এক্সেলেন্সি টু আর টিভি স্টুডিও হাউ বাংলাদেশ মে বি বেনিফিটেড টু ডেভেলপ our railway sector. Well, you know, the, the Spanish government, uh, as you say, uh, has talked already uh, with the Bangladeshi government about this. There was a meeting in Algiers, uh, in the non-aligned movement meeting between the two ministers of foreign affairs, the minister of foreign affairs of Bangladesh and the minister of foreign affairs for, of Spain. And both they mentioned the possibility of cooperating in this area, you know. Uh, our companies are very strong in, in, uh, in railway systems. I think that Bangladesh has a plan to expand its uh, railways, and uh, if they do international bidding, and I think they are ready to, to do this international bidding, uh, Spain will come and participate in, in those biddings. Of course, Spain is a part, is one of the main uh, financiers of the ADB, of the World Bank, uh, and I think these uh, inst international institutions are going to finance uh, the expansion of the railway. And by this way, through financing, also we will participate in, the, in these contracts. No? Uh, so I hope that soon we will have Spanish companies doing railway here. Well, we hope so. Your Excellency, our, every year, our large number of students going to Spain for higher education. How is Spanish government or embassy uh, may assist our students to go for the right way? Well, of course, uh, I will always advise that uh, if a Spanish, uh, if a Bangladesh student wants to, to go to Spain, tourism or whatever, but of course, if they are going to study in Spain, that first of all, they come to the embassy and talk to us, and we can inform them about the, which are the best opportunities in Spain for, for higher education. It is true that uh, Bangladeshi students tend to uh, choose uh, United Kingdom or, or, or 
United States because of the English uh, language. But uh, as I told you, Spanish is the second language in the world. And there are also many universities in Spain that are having uh, a lot of their classes, a lot of their courses in English because university has become very international. Exactly. Uh, I would say also that we have some areas of excellency. For example, uh, in business education of the uh, 21st universities of the world for business, you take the Financial Times uh, classification or the Economist classification, there are three Spanish. Those universities are specialist on business sector or uh, are engineering These sectors? three, I would say, are specialized in uh, business. Business? Ma mainly, yeah, in high business, in manager, management, you know. Business management. Yes. They are very good for postgraduate. I mean, they do masters mainly. So these masters are very well uh, you quoted. But also, I would say that, that they are good for undergraduates. Okay. And then another area in which uh, our, our studies are very interesting is medicine. And many doctors uh, graduated in Spain go then later to work to the United Kingdom or to other parts of the world. A third area that, that you will find that we have a lot of high quality uh, is uh, engineering. Engineering, you know, Spanish engineers, they are working here in, in Bangladesh. But of course, if we have such a, a success in infrastructure, if our companies are so successful, it's because we, we, we use uh, our Spanish engineers and they are very good. And our engineers is top quality. I would say something that is very interesting also for the Bangladeshi people is that, for example, the engineering schools in Spain or the medicine schools uh, are public schools, are public universities. So they are, they are much cheaper than private ones, much cheaper than in other countries of Europe. I wouldn't mention which one. But in Spain, uh, from 800 euro to 2,000 euro, uh, you can have a, uh, it will cost you one year of, of, of studies uh, of an engineering uh, university. Or Obviously, a, it is much cheaper than other countries in much, Europe. Much, much yeah. cheaper, and, and the quality, I would say, is the same. Quality is good. Or, or, or even better sometimes. Better. You know? yes. uh, right. When they are really specialized. No? Uh, so it's a good opportunity. I mean, if you don't want to spend so much, and on the other hand, you know, the life in, in, in Madrid is a little bit in Spain. It's not as expensive as in other, in other capitals of the world because being a touristic country, we try to keep our prices not so high so we can receive a lot of people from, from foreign countries. Great, great. And then you uh, can, you well, can we learn. want to listen to you about a Spanish festival. Some. Uh, yeah, we, we have very, very famous festivals. In, in this, you know, we feel a little bit like the Bangladeshi or the people of the subcontinent, you know. Uh, you, I know that you love festivals, and in Bangladesh, festivals are very important, and you live in Dhaka, you yeah. see how Dhaka becomes completely empty when people go back to the villages for the festivals. Especially uh, Eid, special, yeah. uh, Eid uh, festival. Yeah. Of course, we have our, our Christmas, that we are a Christian country, this is our, our, our main festival, a religious festival, but we have also a lot of very interesting regional festivals. Like? You know? For example, we have the, what we call the San Fermin, uh, this is in July, uh, you know, in many parts of Spain, uh, is the custom of taking out the brave bulls, the bulls that have not been bulls, domesticated. Bulls, bulls fight. Yeah, and then they, they have to put the bulls in the street, and people run before the bulls. You know, and we do that. It is uh, the most typical place is, is in Pampeluna. You know, Pampeluna. For, for example, this writer Ernest Hemingway was very fond of this of this uh, festival. There was a very famous film uh, of Bollywood in which uh, two young men from India go to Spain, they have some romance stories there. Tomatina. They, Tomatina. Tomatina. This, Tomatina. This festival is a festival, you know, that we have, you know, hundreds of tons of tomato after the season that are not up to the market. When the market is oversaturated, okay. they have to destroy the tomato. We produce so much. And they have a festival in which people, you know, just uh, jump on the tomatoes, they launch the tomatoes to each Throwing other. Throwing tomatoes each they, other. They cover completely in red with it tomatoes. It is only known to yeah. world, actually. Yes. <laughs> Very interesting, your tomatina. Yeah, if festival. you see this festival, this, this film, this uh, film of Bollywood, uh, you, will, you will see that, that it's very famous in India. And I suppose that in Bangladesh, many people know this also, no? And then, of course, we have other things. I mean, I, I could uh, speak for, for many, many minutes about our festivals, but I think this is to give you an idea of what, what we do all year round. Great. Mm -hmm. uh, most probably that film uh, named Jindigi na Milegi Dobara. Ah, it is uh, probably. From China. Yeah. Yes. Yes. But I have seen it. I have seen it. Uh, uh, some sketches.
guy <laughs> with Katarina Kaif. Yes, yeah. um, the, they yeah. made that film. They're very interesting mm. uh, yeah, about your Tamichina yeah. festival. Very interesting. Gender issues, we'll talk about gen yeah. gender issues. How does Spanish government uh, ensure gender equity in the different program? You know that, that uh, in Spain we have doing a strong effort to, to you know, keep gender equity in our own country. Um, of course, like many countries, like Bangladesh itself, we come from a very traditional culture in which uh, the women didn't occupy the position that is due to them, uh, especially in, in work. We discovered in Spain that the best way for women to become, you know, I would say equal to men is the access to work. The fact that they can work uh, in factories and have a, an autonomous and independ economic independence is a very good uh, way to, to become uh, to, uh, to become autonomous. No? So, of course, in this sense, I think that our big contribution to garments industry is, is already, a, I think, a, a something that is very positive for Bangladesh, because let, let's not forget that the, one of the main drivers for uh, women equality in, in Bangladesh is the industry of garments, where 80 percent of the workers are women. Then also, as I have told you before, we have this program for the fight against violence of, against women. There we have also the experience we have had in Spain. And here the media play a very good role, a very important role, because uh, in the end, uh, the main education instrument for the population are the media. You journalists are the people who have the responsibility of telling people what is, what is correct, what is modern, what is up to the, to the evolution of the world. And in this sense, we have worked to, together with uh, GIZ, with, uh, with this uh, uh, German ag cooperation agency. Yeah, it is a German development corporation. Yeah, but we have worked in this issue of women, we have worked with them. Uh, we have worked because they have a very powerful and very uh, capable well, and good uh, agency. And we have we decided that uh, we could work with the German cities and we, we did together a program for, for you know, eradicating, eradicating violence against women in the, through the television, through the media and other, other things. We have done other things with them, no? Well, we are almost uh, end of our program. Uh, any final thoughts would you want to share with our viewers? Well, uh, I, would, I would insist in what, what I said at the beginning. Uh, Bangladesh uh, is a country that uh, is growing, is, is, is progressing. Your, your, for example, the, your um, index of poverty is better than in India. And India has uh, almost double uh, per capita income than you. So that, mean, that means that you are doing the efforts in the right direction. Uh, I think that uh, f for Bangladesh it's very important to keep the same track they are following. I mean, to, to work hard. Uh, it is very important that new entrepreneurs come into in, that you can export to the world, that you develop your agriculture. So I would say that uh, uh, there's nothing, no, no special recommendation, but mainly to keep in the good way that you are, you are following. And, uh, and I think that uh, very soon you will become a middle income country. And you'll be a model for so many, you know, poor countries that have not been uh, as successful as you are and that have many things to learn from, from your experience and from your culture. Well, where you, would, uh, where you would like to see Bangladesh after 10 years? Well, I, I would like, you know, after 10 years, I would like to see, a, you know, a prosperous Bangladesh with an industry that uh, is exporting not only garments but also light industry also pharmaceuticals, other things. I would like to see a full democratic country, peaceful and full democratic country, very open to, to as it is now, uh, to foreign countries, very open to foreigners, very open to the world. And uh, with, with, a city, with, a, with a modern society in which women play a central role. This is what I would like to see in 10 years in Bangladesh. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, to being with us. Thank you very much to you for having invited me to this very good program. Thank you very our much. Our pleasure. It's our pleasure. Thank you. The two countries have been able to do the work of the country. The two countries have been able to do the work of the country. The two countries have been able to do the work of the country. The two countries have been able to do the work of the country.